one, let's check out all of the new features of the Pumpkin King Returns update and the DLC, A Rift in Time for Disney Dreamlight Valley. Special thanks to Viking Brown, Sakina, Sarah, and Tiffers for supporting our channel through Super Sunny and Mega Sunny memberships. Let's start off with the base game update, The Pumpkin King Returns. This does not require an additional purchase. Simply download the update and enjoy the game if you already have the base game. To find Jack Skellington, you'll need to find four dolls in Dreamlight Valley and place them inside the Halloween Town tree in the Forgotten Lands. In my case, there were two dolls in the plaza, one doll in the Sunlit Plateau, and one doll in the Frosted Heights. Once you've found the dolls, look for a very tall and skinny tree in the Forgotten Lands near the crystal pedestals on the northwest side. Since my biome is heavily decorated, the game auto-populated my Halloween Town tree in a funky little gap. Interact with a tree and transfer the four dolls. The pumpkin face will change to orange and candy will appear as you transfer the dolls. I decided to move my tree to where it should auto spawn in the game and transferred my last doll. Now you can welcome Jack Skellington into your valley. Take a photo with Jack by the well in the plaza and place his home in your valley. I made some space and placed it in the Forgotten Lands with the rest of my Halloween Town decor. Now, enjoy your time with Jack and gain those friendship levels. The Premium Shop this week has three new items and one repeat item. The three new items are Frozen Elsa, the Fairy's Bloss Home, and the Winter Celebration Bundle. The repeat item is the Whimsical Pink Companion Pack 2. There were two previous Whimsical Companion Packs, one in pink and one in blue, both with two packs each. I purchased the Fairy's Bloss Home for future theme decorating, and I purchased the Winter Celebration Bundle since it's from the Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I also added the last two items to my valley to see how big they were, and the carousel ended up being not so many. The Royal Winter Star Path is also something you can enjoy with a base game update. Here we have the Aerial Winter Skin as a featured reward item. In the Duties tab, you can work on three duties at a time. In the Rewards tab, you can earn three of the items in each page with tokens that you earned from the duties. If you unlock the Premium Star Path, you can have six duties active at a time and earn all rewards in the Rewards tab. I usually purchase the discounted Premium Star Path with the extra 100 tokens for 3300 Moonstones. This allows me to have a cushion in case I don't have time to finish all of the Star Path duties because I'll be able to claim additional rewards. Also, I can exchange any extra tokens for Moonstones in the end. Multiplayer is another new feature in this update. Simply chat with Penelope and complete her quest in order to earn the Valley Visit Station. Each time you activate Valley Visits, you will receive a unique code. Up to three players can enter the code in their start menu and visit you. When you are hosting players in your Valley, you can only drop or exchange items from your inventory, harvest flowers, visit and purchase from Scrooge's shop and enter your home. I thought we were going to be able to give furniture items and clothing, but this is a no-go, at least for now. While hosting, no one is able to advance in quests, open chests, harvest directly from trees and bushes, or interact with valley villagers. If you have new items available in Scrooge's shop marked with a red dot on the price tag, make sure to purchase these ahead of time or let your visitors know you'd like them. Otherwise, Furniture items do not stay available once they are purchased. I tried purchasing an accessory and this restocked after I purchased it, so we're hoping it's a bug and that this will be fixed in the future. You aren't able to use any of your royal tools during a visit either, but we thought of taking a screenshot instead to capture this memory. Hosts must close their connection for the valley visit at the valley visit station so that players can leave. You can decide to keep the connection open or close it. Now let's move on to the DLC, A Rift in Time. You'll meet with Jafar on a pedestal in the plaza once you open your game after purchasing and downloading the DLC. Then you'll chat with Merlin and meet him in the middle left of the Dream Castle. From here, you enter through the gates and arrive at the Stardust Port. With all of these docks, it looks like there will be a ton of new lands to explore in the future. Head to the dock that is two to the right of the entrance and interact with the ancient vessel to travel to Eternity Isle. I love that it includes your avatar in the cutscenes too. Jafar will welcome you to Eternity Isle, which includes three different areas, Ancient's Landing, the Wild Tangle, and the Glittering Dunes. In Eternity Isle, you have various different biomes, including the docks, the ruins, the overlook, the courtyard, 
the grasslands, the grove, the promenade, the lagoon, the oasis, the plains, the borderlands, and the wastes. There are a ton of new crafting materials and crafting recipes like furniture, fencing, and pathing, ancient machines, time-bending parts, gifts, critters, fish and sea creatures, fruits, vegetables, and crops, flowers, seeds, and more. It looks like pineapples are the most valuable crop from Eternity Isle so far. To see all of the new items and materials, go to your menu and then select Collection and then Eternity Isle. Select the category and scroll through. The dark blue bar below provides more details for each item. Also, to see the new completionist duties, go to the Dreamlight tab and then down to Eternity Isle at the bottom to see all of the new goals to work towards. You'll have to fix and upgrade Scrooge's shop, Goofy's dolls, the wells, and Shea Remy. Fortunately, your player home is accessible on Eternity Isle in the docks. One tip for handling the new influx of items if your storage chests are not in your player home is to have a dark vintage chest here so that you can have linked inventory with the mainland. There is also a new currency similar to Dreamlight called Mists. These are used to open new biomes in Eternity Isle. You can earn these by completing Mist duties or removing Splinters of Fate, which are the green and purple glowing rocks on the ground. There are three new characters you'll be able to interact with in the DLC, Eve, Rapunzel, and Gaston. Eve is on the left side of the docks near the spaceship. You'll need to wait until your royal pickaxe is upgraded until you can access this area. Rapunzel is on the far east side of the grasslands, tucked behind the waterfall. Gaston is on the west side of the glittering dunes near the quicksand. Be prepared, he'll be super thirsty. Scramble Coin is another new feature unique to the DLC, which acts like a mini game within Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's a board game with pieces that work similar to chess, but your goal is to collect as many points as possible via silver coins and gold coins. Silver coins are one point and gold coins are three points. You will make moves until you reach five total turns. I would try to explain it, but it's better if you try it firsthand. I lost my first game with Mickey, but you do have to win a game against him to complete his quest. It's awesome that other Valley Villagers enjoy playing Scramble Coin too. You can increase your friendship levels with them and you can increase your rank in the mini game. Check your in-game mail to receive your gifts for purchasing and or updating the base game as well as gifts for purchasing the DLC. You can receive two new companions, the Capybara and the Jester Monkey from these rewards. I adore the Capybara and it has Rapunzel styled hair with the braided flowers as well as its little tail. The critters in Eternity Isle are comparable to those on the mainland. Monkeys enjoy 5 star meals but accept 3 star meals and require you to chase them 4 times, similar to the rabbit's pattern and the raven's food preferences. The snakes are similar to the crocodiles and raccoons in pattern and enjoy scorpions, which you can fish from the quicksand in the glittering dunes. Stop nearby a snake and wait until it faces you. Then walk towards it only when it is lowered. Stop before it goes back up to survey. Repeat this until you are able to interact with the snake. You can use your sprint feature to make this faster. The new Royal Hourglass tool can be used after you complete Eve's quest. This tool allows you to clear up the swirling sands once you receive upgrades from Jafar and it is also able to find hidden treasure. Simply sense for the hidden treasures by following the sand's direction. If the sand ring is blue, you're kind of far. If it's yellow, you're getting closer. And if it's red orange, you're almost there. Rapidly tap the action button to pull up the treasure out of the flow of time. The time bending table is a new type of crafting station where you can craft unique treasures, gifts, ancient machines, and more. You can also upgrade your royal hourglass tool here to find more resources. There are also time rifts where you can find as much treasures as you can during their limited time duration. Interact with these glowing floating white orbs with your hourglass. Remember to like and subscribe for more Disney Joy Valley content also, I'd love to meet you during our live streams on Twitch and Kick at Sincerely Sunshine Cat. I'll see you in the next video.